Hi, and welcome to the MyWifeQuitHerJob.com YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to teach you how to get a great shopping cart design without having to hire a designer and without having to spend a whole lot of money. Now, just in case you're joining us a little bit late, this is actually part three of a three-part series on how to create a, an online store without any technical experience necessary. Now, in case you, you're just joining us just now, uh, the whole point of this tutorial is to teach you how to create and host your own e-commerce store from scratch without needing to know anything about computers. Now, by the end of this little mini tutorial, you'll be self-sufficient, you will own your own website, and you will have a feature-rich shopping cart with which to sell your goods. Now, once again, this is part three, and I'm going to go over how to get a great design for your website without having to hire a developer or without having to know anything about HTML or website design. Okay, so um, I've been running my blog, MyWifeQuitterJob.com, for quite a while now. And one of the main fears that I've gotten from my readers, uh, and especially the tech-averse ones, is that they're worried that they won't be able to design a good-looking website. And a lot of these people are reluctant to hire a developer because developers are really expensive and there's a lot of back and forth, uh, you know, involved when you do hire a developer. And you know, a lot of the people who are tech adverse don't want to have to deal with all of that. And you know, this fear is valid if you have to hire a developer. But today, I'm going to show you that you actually don't need a developer to, to help design your website, and you don't really need any technical experience at all to actually develop a great-looking e-commerce store. And so, so why is that? So far in this mini tutorial, I've shown you how to install OpenCart, which is an open source shopping cart. Now, one of the beauties of using an open source platform like OpenCart is that there's a whole bunch of people who design templates for the shopping cart. And just to give you an example, templates for OpenCart can be had for as little as $25. And in fact, there's a lot of uh, template designers that are just willing to give their template designs away for free as well. So what you do is just go to your Google web browser, and you do a search for open cart templates, and you'll find a whole bunch of shops that sell great-looking designs for open cart, which is what your online store is based on. And today, just as an example, I'm going to show you how to install a theme called Shopica which can be actually bought for only thirty dollars and it's a pretty good looking theme so I thought I'd just introduce you first to this place called themeforce.net which sells open cart templates now you can easily find a whole bunch of other places that sell templates for open cart by simply doing a google search but the template I'm going to show you how to install today I actually purchased from this place called themeforce.net and what you'll find out as you browse this uh, website is that there's going to be different designers designing templates for different purposes. So just as an example, uh, let's say you were to sell sports equipment. Now the sports store premium theme might be something that you might be interested in. So I'm just going to show you a live preview of this uh, template real quick. And you know, as you browse these sites, oftentimes you know they'll give you a live preview of what you're buying before you actually make the purchase. And a lot of these themes are very customizable, so you can change the colors and that sort of thing without having to know anything about website design. So this particular example looks like they're selling bicycles and it's a pretty good looking theme. Okay. So uh, back to the tutorial, uh, once you buy a theme, so actually let me just show you what your shopping cart looks like out of the box in case you actually haven't gone through the install yet. This is what the plain vanilla open cart install looks like. And in most cases, it's not going to be a good fit for what you're selling uh, simply because because it's pretty plain and vanilla. You want something that's very targeted towards what you're selling. Okay, So when you actually buy a theme online, you usually will be presented with a zip file. This zip file contains all the files necessary to install your template. So it's as easy as unzipping your file uh, on your home computer, and then you need some sort of file transfer program such as FTP or WinSCP, which is what I use, in order to just copy those files from your local computer over to your web server. Okay, so just as an example here, I'm showing you how to install the Shopica Premium theme. And here's the zip file that's on my desktop right now. And there's a folder here called Files to Upload. 
And basically what I need to do is I just need to take this all these folders and files here and just simply drop them right over my existing shopping cart installation and that's actually almost all there is to it after you've just copied the files over you need to then go to your uh, admin page for your shopping cart and you're gonna need to go under system settings actually let me just log in again real quick So you need to go under System, Settings, and then under Store. And then here under Template, once you've copied all the files over, you should see the new template that you just installed. And so in this case, I'm going to activate the Shopica theme. Click Save. And also under Extensions and Modules, there's uh, two new modules that this particular theme installed as well, which allows you to customize the look and feel of your shopping cart and basically you want to install and then you want to click edit and you want to enable these modules and as you can see here you can change different things about the look and feel of your store Okay, so basically anytime you install a template chances are there's going to be extension modules that come along with your template and once you've en enabled all of those you can now go back to your store and what you'll find is that the look and feel of your store is now completely different and this is actually what the Shopica theme looks out of the box. And once you've found a theme that you really like, all you really need to do at this point is to put your logo in the upper left corner, and you're pretty much ready to sell. I've already taught you how to install you know, security and SSL for your site, and I've actually already taught you how to accept credit cards. So at this point, once you load up your products, you're ready to sell. Okay, so you know once you have your store up, it's all fine and good, but as you're probably aware, there are many more steps to actually starting a successful online store. Um, number one, you have to find the right niche to pursue, otherwise you won't make any money. Uh, you got to find the right market. Uh, sometimes the market that you choose might be too competitive, and sometimes you might choose a market that doesn't have enough paying customers. And you kind of need to find the right sweet spot whenever you're launching an online store. Uh, second of all, you also need to find great vendors who are willing to source you product reliably and at low prices so you can make a decent profit on your goods. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried, but if you look for products to sell on the internet, you end up finding a lot of middlemen. And what a middleman is, is they're guys who just buy direct from the manufacturer, they market up themselves, and then they sell it to you. So they act as a middleman because their only purpose is to mark up the product before they sell it to you. And it's essential that you buy directly from the distributor or from the manufacturer if possible. Okay? You also need to be able to get customers into, in the door and effectively market your online store to prospective customers. And finally, you also need to be able to optimize your website for conversions. As soon as someone lands on your site, you want to know that you can actually convert them at a high probability. Okay, so now that I've taught you how to actually uh, develop your online store website, it's now time to actually focus on some of the other parameters involved in creating a successful online store. And today, I just want to let you know that I actually teach a course called Create a Profitable Online Store, where I teach you how to find a profitable niche to pursue. And in doing so, I teach you ways to evaluate and find ideas and do some background calculations and figure out how much you're going to make even before you even start. So right off the bat, before you invest a single cent, you already know whether your idea has a fighting chance or not of success. I'll show you how to find products to sell online. I'll show you the best places to find goods at rock bottom prices so you can maximize the profits for your online store. I'll also teach you how to properly set up your online store website for conversions. Uh, there's a lot to website design. Once a customer lands on your site, you want to have your site basically funnel this customer towards the checkout portion so they actually make a purchase. And finally, and most importantly, I will teach you how to drive very targeted traffic and customers to your online store without spending any money and without needing a huge budget. Okay? Now, just to give you some background about what the course includes, uh, the, for the full course includes a PDF file, 
which includes nine modules and over 75 lessons, and it's a 400 plus page PDF that's very comprehensive. I've designed this course to be a lot like a college course. So you have your text materials, which is the course in PDF format, and I also have over 35 plus hours of recorded video that walks you through the entire process and really emphasizes and goes into great detail about every single aspect of the online store creation process. Now, of course, you're probably going to have questions even after watching the videos and reading the course materials. So every week I have live webinars and office hours where I'm willing to answer your questions live and in person. And in addition to all of this, I also provide spreadsheets to help you determine your profit potential of your store and your idea before you even launch. And I also provide you with a series of checklists to make sure that you don't miss any details prior to launching your online store. The course has a whole bunch of students now and I just thought I'd share with you some of the testimonials that I've received from uh, the students in my class. So this first student, uh, this is her second online course and she said that there's actually no comparison with the first course that she took. Uh, the first time around was far more expensive and did not provide this level of detail or assistance. Our questions are always answered within 24 hours. Steve is very detailed and explains each step thoroughly. He even has added extra videos to clarify questions that we've had during office hours. He goes above and beyond to make sure that you understand the material. And this other student uh, that I wanted to share their testimonial with, he was actually very tech averse. He wasn't very computer savvy. But, uh, you know, he found that after taking the course, he was actually able to do a bunch of the things and develop the website, uh, even though he didn't know anything about computers. And he said, with a family and a demanding full-time job, I needed a course that allowed me to go at my own pace. Steve's course enables to me to work on my website at my leisure. I can access Steve's video tutorials whenever I want. I also like the breadth of topics in the course. Steve walks you through every step necessary to get your course running successfully. He's also very responsive to emails, which allows me to bounce ideas off of him just about every single week. And finally, and most importantly, Steve's course has given me enough technical knowledge to create a professional website, which I deemed impossible without any technical web skills at all. Okay, so this course has actually been around for quite a while now, and we've also developed a community of entrepreneurs where you can actually go on the forums and bounce ideas off one another and of course I will be always available to answer your questions so you should go ahead and go and check out the course it's at www.profitableonlinestore.com and if you sign up you know drop me a note and I will give you a warm welcome thanks